Hey gamers, today's topic is about sleeving games. And there's a few things to think about when sleeving, a few questions asked, do you sleeve your games or do you not? Um, I personally do not, mostly, for the most part. There are a few games uh, that I have that are completely sleeved uh, on purpose uh, because I either like them, want to keep the uh, quality of the cards for a long time, or I just really enjoy the game. But there's also a lot of reasons why I do not sleeve my cards. And one of those reasons would probably be, A, it's very expensive. It's very expensive by sleeves for all of your cards. Are you really going to sleep? There are some people who sleeve every card. And believe me, I was like that with my comic books. I'd sleeve every comic book. Those comic books are going to be worth something someday. Is your board game going to be something worth something, worth something someday? Some might. Some might. Um, I know ones I've sleeved on purpose were Yado. Uh, or Yido. I really love that game. Really love that game. So I sleeved it. Um, what was another game I did? Lewis and Clark. Really liked that one, so I sleeved it. And if I have extra sleeves, if I'm sent sleeves, I'll just dedicate that to a game that I have in my collection that I would like sleeved. Another reason, though, I do not like sleeving, it makes shuffling the cards a lot harder. <laughs> uh, now, the thing, yeah, you yeah, know, it's not as bad, but with uh, Lewis and Clark, when you're shuffling that deck, it just it's just awful. It's just awful. And so I did think about taking everything out of the sleeve. Um, there's Maybe another one that I have sleeved. I don't recall. I, maybe my Imperial Assault. I feel like that is all sleeved as well. But other than that, I don't think I've slaved that many of my games. And I know this is a big thing people sleep, but it just seems so expensive and everything. I, then it's supposed to protect your cards. I get it. But to be honest, out of all the plays, there's been one game that has suffered. Uh, the deck has suffered bad, and that's my Zombies game. That was a game that got me into the hobby. And we've played it so many times back in the day that the cards are kind of worn, bent, creased, and whatnot. But the good news about that is two newest, newer, newer editions have come out since I bought the game. And I bought both of those, too. They're part of some Kickstarter bundle. So I have the, I have the base game like twice over. So I actually have a fresh pack if I just want to throw all those old cards away. I even have doubles of the promos now because some of them came with the pack uh, the, of the, for the base game. So, I mean, for me, sleeving is not that important. But I, I want to ask you in the comments below, do you sleeve your board games? And if so, why? I mean, do you, is it really, do you really think it's that typical? I mean, I, I don't want my friends getting grease on it. Uh, okay, I guess. Is that you or do you sleeve some of your games? Or do you think it's just not worth it? I'm really interested to hear because I, I don't sleeve as much. And I hear that talk all over Board Game Geek. So, I just wanted to ask the question to my fellow board gamers here. And I'll see you next time.